Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I know a lot of you guys, because I mean it's on delay. We have we have a little bit of a delay here, so uh, we're just now getting some of the comments from you guys. I know you guys are like a bit clues to what's actually going on. So I thought before we we get into our next match here, Forsen versus Asma, that we'd we'd uh, maybe go over some of the rules again. So the the theme is uh, kind of a play on Geico's slogan, which is the main sponsor for the tournament, of course, and which is 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on insurance. And uh, we wanted to make uh, some fun rules that play along this, and to make it happen, um, all cards in each of the three decks must contain at least two instances of the factors of 15. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. And these numbers can appear in mana cost, attack separately from HP. So if you have a, a 3 for attack and a 5 for toughness, that's good enough. Durability or text of the card. And uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's some interesting things. Uh, it's, it's a bit tricky. It's not too intuitive, but uh, it has some pretty interesting uh, consequences. Um, the second rule is that you have to have Nas Dormu in your deck because uh, we got to speed this all up. And there are some pretty interesting penalties, which include uh, the first Magma Rager, which is why Trump was playing that card in his Shaman deck. So that's that's the theme that's going on. I guess we can try our best to repeat it and reiterate uh, why why these things are happening. Um, but uh, yeah, so far we've seen some pretty good cards. Uh, a lot of the things you mentioned uh, came up with with Shaman running like the Overload cards, the the Earth Shock. Um, Chaki, you mentioned how Senjin and Argus are really powerful cards, and we, we kept seeing those. Uh, Zoo seemed really good. Um, players basically are not able to have effective uh, not only board clears, but single target removal, unless they're playing Shaman. So, yeah, it kind of works, which is why players are playing these type of decks, which is why players are playing in this way. And uh, so far it's been pretty entertaining, uh, for me at least. Yeah, it's a pretty complicated format to explain, but kind of once you get down to thinking about it, it removes, it's very similar to the first Challenge Stone format, which removed Silences, removed Big Game Hunter, removed a lot of those cards people don't like playing against. It also removed a lot of spells, so it's a lot more of a proactive game. You're really fighting for the board, and there's not too many insane swing cards for some of the classes. Uh, the three most represented classes are, I believe, Warlock, Shaman, and Paladin. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, the fourth most represented class is Priest, which Ratsman's bringing to uh, this match. So, yeah, we didn't think it'd be very good, but uh, maybe we missed a few things. Um, we had a little bit of discussion on the format, and one of the things that we missed in our discussion is actually the Hobgoblin that Savis ended up playing with reasonable success. There's those Demon Hearts, though, which we kind of talked about would be actually surprisingly good. And uh, Pit Lord even kind of comes That's out. That's a now. good one. We are talking about how four drops have a, a bit of a issue being played, but Pit Lord is a great four drop where your life total is much less relevant to your compared to your board state because your board state can't really be affected. Yeah. It's, it's definitely much more of a, you know, curve out, play really powerful stuff, and hope to win kind of thing. Looks like uh, Ratsmo is going to be going second. It even has Blood Imp in his deck, maybe to go along with those Demon Hearts. And yep. Forsen will be on the top, also with a pretty Zooey deck. No, Forsen has the idea, right? You, you play some stuff, and then you point it at your opponent's face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ratsma, of course, has kind of like the burden of playing around things here, uh, since he's the second player to go, so he has to play around stuff like Juggler, Coil, Abusive, mm -hmm. uh, whereas Forsen just gets to hit the face, and it uh, looks like he's eating a meal. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you do here if you're at Ratsma? Do, do, do you consider the coining out Senjin play? It's not particularly good, but you, you kind of need to try to stabilize sometime, or else you're just going to die yeah. in a few turns. Yeah, it seems like his his deck's a little more slow with the the Blood Imp and the Zombie Chow, and so he really wants to be ahead on board. But like we talked about, it's pretty hard to swing the board back in your favor if you do lose it. And it looks like Forsen is going to be the one controlling the board in these early mm -hmm. turns. 
Yeah, going first when you're playing Zoo versus Zoo with no removal cards is basically on who it, who initializes the aggression. And if you go first and you have a one drop, you basically can't be beat in that type of game. Uh, Rasma just has to try to out quality him at this stage. Yeah, these juggles actually work out pretty well for Forsen as well because he went in with the Imp Gang boss for one juggle first, which then kind of maximized his chances to hit the. Uh, the extra 1-1s one that spawn, and now, I mean, he's so far ahead on board, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like, this is basically <laughs> game over. Yeah. So, few consequences of the format. Uh, seems to be pretty aggressive, much more so than we really anticipated. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the initial reactions when there's a format like this is, okay, you know, no big game hunter, no silence, I can play these slow, big, fun cards. But, it turns out, Sometimes the the one ones just carry away the game. Yeah, the uh, Imp Gang boss is a, a a really good deterrent against these really small annoying creatures, but it still feels like it's just not good enough. Yep. So, Forsen just gonna kind of look at the board and think, okay, am I still ahead? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I think you can. Hmm. If you get juggles in the Imp Gang boss, it kind of sucks. Is the problem? Yeah. So I'm a little surprised he would trade in the Imp Gang boss, uh, as opposed to just the Clockwork Gnome and play the Void Terror. Yeah, I really like the Clockwork Gnome because you get the spare part, and you might set up some really annoying stuff. Like if you get a taunt spare part, you suddenly can protect your knife juggler. Yeah, th then again, you you literally don't need to play around anything, so just just go for it. Why not? Surprised okay. he, he ate the flame imp. Yeah, okay. he gets the right juggle. That's really <laughs> the most important part. <laughs> yeah, and this is gonna set up lethal for next turn. And I don't think there's a way for Ratsma to avoid it. He can only leave. Yeah, you can doom guard. Yeah, you can doom guard no. into the six five, right? Oh, true, true. Okay. So, he can live. Very slightly. He can live by what, like three health? Two health, maybe? Mm-hmm. Depends on where the juggle goes, if he decides to kill the Imp Gang boss. Uh, would he kill the Imp Gang boss? You really only remove one damage and you get juggled again. It seems better to kill off a 1-1. Yeah, might just be better to kill off that. In fact... See, this is what I was thinking is, you'd have to go for a greedy play here. And then you, you lose. Could, you couldn't go for the hope he doesn't have Doom Guard. Right, or, right. That's what he had to go for, rather, is... And yep. So he's dead. Okay. Well, how about that? The uh, very aggressive yeah. format, as it turns out, uh, tends to favor the player going first. Yeah, now, this isn't the end of the world for Ratsma. I mean, I think his decks aren't really aimed to beat Zoo. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a Priest deck, which I... Doubt will be very powerful against Zoo. He has a pretty slow Warlock deck, and we still have yet to kind of see what his Shaman deck is, but everyone's is probably going to end up being pretty similar. So, However, Thorsen's you... decks look pretty aggressive. Why do you mention that his uh, Warlock deck seems slow? Is it just the Demon Hearts? That's uh, the only slow card we saw. Double Demon Hearts. Uh, Zombie Chow, I guess, isn't that slow. Blood Imp's pretty slow. Mm. Uh, it doesn't really do anything to the board immediately. You have to be ahead in the first place for it to really help. So. Alright. Well, uh, uh, Forced and Running, basically cookie cutter stuff. Looking good. Crackle, <laughs> legal, of course. Power Mace, legal. Yeah. Nazdormu nope. has to be legal. Nazdormu is extremely <laughs> legal. Yeah. But he didn't draw any playable minions early, so. Not in the best of shape. These Imp King bosses might get a lot of work done. Oh, no, he's just fine now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, never mind. That's going to be a 5-6 spider tank. Yeah, and then he can follow that up with the um, other uh, Power Mace and Rock Biter to deal with basically any 4-drop to try to counter it. Yeah, if, if Ratsma had, like, one more turn, then maybe that Demon Heart would put in a lot of work, but... Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't really have a way to 
counter this spider tank. Mm -hmm. Not much counterplay to just kind of big stuff in this format. Shattered Sun Cleric's pretty much like one off doing anything. Uh, doesn't buff it out of range. Not sure. Orson's eating some spaghetti. Uh, round two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Alakir, three and five. That's right. This is a lot of damage in his hands. Uh, I think he'll kill off the zombie chow, but yeah, I think so. Just I face. think. The, yeah, I think the 5-6 is heading towards the face. That's been in line with how he's been playing, so seems right. Yep. Yep. Face is the place. Everybody has faces. Yeah. So what do you do here if you're, if you're Ratsma? Like, you can start building a board, but then you got to yeah. think about that lightning storm at the back of your mind. Uh, lightning storms... Not terrible, but I th think he's going to respect taking 10, which, looking at Fortune's hand, is what he should do. Yeah. So this is going to play around the fact that Fortune has, like, 11 to 14 points of damage in his hand, but it might still not be enough. I mean, Fortune's still going to be ahead on board thanks to the double power mace draw, mm -hmm. uh, with mechs coming kind of, like, right on time. Those spells uh, don't seem too useful right now, but he just has so much damage they just become useful um, yeah. when you when you just have enough. Yeah, the other thing is he can actually just kind of play for board and just win off the fact he has an Alakir and a Nazdormu. Yeah. Those are pretty powerful cards. Yeah, and Ratsma keeps having a trade in the board. Yep. So maybe you just trade back. It's your big tinker town. Okay. Uh, I think I like the totem and rock biter to kill the two three. Yep, me too. And you probably you probably want to trade into the three two. Yeah, your four four can push for damage next turn. Man, that four four is a pretty interesting spot there. Yeah. Uh, is, is that legal? Can, can I, you be there? I believe. I believe that happens when you play it so fast off okay. the top of your deck. Like, you grab it off the top and you just slam it on the table. Mm -hmm. That's how excited Forsen was for that draw. That was a really, really good draw. Yeah, and um, most of the theme is that uh, even if you don't have very good, like, zoo early game class cards, on one end you mentioned how you can just stick in, like, 10 one-drops and be fine. On the other end, it seems like you can just play most of the generally pretty good mechs to survive in the early game. Uh, and that favors Shaman a bit, again, because you have that power mace. Yeah, and I mean, you're just going to use spells for removal here. Clean up the board and keep it in face. And with this hand, I can't really see a way this goes wrong. Alright. Well, he gave up the turn 8 Alakir by playing the uh, Lava Burst, but it absolutely seemed like the best option for it there. Uh, he is going to have a uh, Nazdormu coming in. And one thing that players may not know is the Nazdormu graphical effect does actually stack. Oh, baby. It gets pretty so, hard to see stuff after a few of them play. Could we, could we get into like a stalemate where the Warlock just loses on fatigue? <laughs> well, no. We, we're not going to. We are no. one turn short of Nazdormu. Rip. And Forsen takes another game over Ratsma. Forsen's up two points. And uh, I think I think this match might be over before Forsen finishes his breakfast. Yeah, I mean, Hunter, I have to think, is going to do pretty well against the classes Ratsma has. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, it's pretty good against Warlock. Their hero power doesn't really line up that great. Uh, Priest, again, doesn't have access to a lot of the spells that they traditionally use. And even with those spells, they're not considered a great class. So, it's going to be tough if the Hunter gets off to a good start. Shaman, I think, could yeah. beat Hunter just because Shaman's so powerful in this format. But No, you're absolutely right. But 
it just feels like one thing I, I keep in mind is, um, you know, the players only had 15 minutes to make these decks. Uh, again, they have to have, every card in the deck has to have uh, two instances of factors of 15. So like Unleash the Hounds, a 1-1, one, one, that's one instance, and then three mana cost is another instance. Uh, and it's really hard to make three unique decks that you know have to compete in Conquest format with those rules in 15 minutes. Yeah. So, um, I think the players who just chose, to just you know, what? Forget it, man. I don't, I don't know much strategy. I'm just going to play aggressive stuff. I think in that in that situation, they're going to do really, really well. And I think Forsen is playing exactly that type of game right now. Yeah, I think that's sort of the strategy I had in mind. Is if you're pretty unfamiliar with things, and your opponents are too, if you just stack your deck with a bunch of one drops, you're probably going to do okay. So. <laughs> That, that seems to be the strategy here for Forsen. Three very aggressive decks. And could work out really well for him. Well, Rasma is keeping up with the, the aggression in this game. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah, he's in a decent spot. I mean, coining out, like, Sinjin here won't be too bad. It should kind of stimmy the aggression from mm -hmm. Forsen. The bow will help, but... I like the uh, the Harvest Golem a lot more than to play the 2 and the 1 drop because it gives you the option to play the bow and the 1 drop next turn as well as the 2 drop and hero power if you draw nothing over the course of the next 2 turns on 4. Yeah, definitely. And I also kind of like this from Ratsma to just hold back on using the coin quite yet. Wow. Face is the place? Uh, could be. These are some pretty nice trades, but 2 damage adds up. He can kill off a 2-1 for free. Uh, you're really only playing around Defender of Argus, but that is quite an important card to play around in this format. Mm -hmm. So he's going to choose to do that. I, I think that's fine. If your opponent taunts up a Harvest Golem and a Haunted Creeper, you're not happy. You can't play Silences in this format. So Right. All right, that's going to get kill commanded here. Yep. Oh no, he's looking at the bow. Uh, I like the kill command. Yeah, I think he'll go with the kill command. Yeah, I mean, if, if Ratsma can pick up some more taunt here, he could be able to stabilize. I mean, it's not like the hunter deck can run all of the burn they want to. You can't play uh, Wolf, or you can't play Arcane Golem. You can't right? play Wolf Rider, though. Yeah, yeah you can play Wolf Rider. Uh, um, no, no Glaive Zooka, no Quick Shot, so... Mm -hmm. They're a little lower on burn than they'd like to be. It just feels like uh, Force is just really ahead on the life battle, and if he's playing Hunter against Warlock, and we know Rasmus playing Pit Lords and stuff, mm -hmm. I think you're just going to have just enough damage throughout the course of the game to win as the Hunter. Yeah, there's a lot of dead draws in Ratsman's deck. Uh, he does play Jaraxxus, though, we saw last match, so... With the coin, maybe a way to stabilize this match. Yeah. I, 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 I like there's Forsen. much else, though. I like Forsen holding back on the Unleash here, though. Oh, no Stormu. That should do about nothing. Yeah, now it's like at the point where, well, all the cards in your hand suck. And there's the taunt, though, that he mm -hmm. needed. So, really critical life tap there. Oh, wow. So he can play out his hand. Things just keep getting better for Forsen. Yeah. I, I don't even know if you trade into the 5 1. Like, yeah, and it's going like to hit that one the damage. Five. Yeah, I like that one damage. All I right. mean, you probably do math on if it's going to matter. I would definitely trade in the Haunted Creeper somehow. Mm -hmm. Because there's really no way to punish that. Well, he can do that. He can trade the Haunted Creeper and the 2-1 into the Senjin and just have a bunch of 1 health minions left. Yeah. Uh... Okay, this this is maybe a bit more efficient here. Yeah, he misses out on 1 damage. Oh, oh. No, no, he doesn't. Okay. He does go for a safer play. Yeah. This is probably going to set up lethal. I mean, he has to retain... Four on board, so now Ratsma's forced to coin out a demon heart, and then how do you win? 
You don't have yeah. to. You, I guess maybe you just use one Demon Heart. You don't play the Shattered Sun, and you hope to top deck your Axis next turn. Yeah, that's that's the only thing. You yeah, you have to save your coin and hope you top deck your Axis. That's the absolute only chance you have this game if you're Ratsma. Yeah, you have to Demon Heart that two one. Maybe he plays something like Antique Killbot, and he has some other ways to win, but... Well, even even Antique <laughs> Killbot, even Jaraxxus, you're just so far behind on the board that yeah. even if you get that life boost, you're still probably on another two-turn clock that you can't overcome. Yep. And we have to keep in mind, like, Rats has played two Sengens this game. That's, like, his taunts. Yeah, I mean, Defender of Argus would have been really critical, but... Oh, that's a really bad draw from Forsen. Yeah, he misses, so... Yeah, Ratsman's going to have one more draw to do it. I think trading here would be acceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have seen uh, Harrison Jones uh, so far in the tournament, but um, I don't know if it's that <laughs> great of an option, because there's not many legal weapons. All right, somehow you got to hope Forsen went AFK to get another plate of dinner. Pass the oh, turn yep. and rope him. I think that was the play there. Uh, Ratsman just concedes. All right. Well, uh, another sweep uh, in which it seems like the player to draft more aggressive decks overall uh, kind of does the stomping. Uh, this time it's uh, Forsen's turn to put some points on the board. So uh, we have Saviz's opponent. Saviz will be playing against Forsen. I believe we'll actually have that today. We were supposed to introduce all of the players today, but um, I believe it's Life Coach who could not play today. Uh, we will be skipping his initial match against... Uh, what is Firebat. it here? Firebat, that's right. So instead, we wanted to have four matches for you guys. Um, I believe we will have... Yeah, Saviz versus Forsen to make up for that. Anyway, guys, uh, we will take a little bit of a break. We'll get uh, Forsen on here, and he can talk about how uh, how awesome it is to play aggressive zoo decks and win tournaments. And uh, in the meantime, just want to uh, just want to thank Geico for sponsoring the tournament. And if you guys uh, want to check out the raffle, uh, you guys can go to geico.onog.gg. All right, that's it for now. We'll be back in a few minutes. Hey guys, welcome back. Looks like I'm the winner again. Crip wins. Crip always wins, guys. Yeah. Uh, but we do have Force in here. Uh, congratulations for completely crushing uh, Ratsuma in his tournament debut. Uh, you. you have completely ruined his life, I believe. So how do you feel? <laughs> I mean, I feel pretty good. Um, huh. I guess. <laughs> I mean, put him back where they belong, those arena freaks, right? What? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Double shots. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, it, it was like, I think, uh, I don't know the rest of his decks. I, I assume he had Shaman as well. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know his last deck, but uh, if he beat me with his Sue, maybe he could have won. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But I think all my decks are pretty solid. I don't know. Did you have yeah. much strategy or were you like uh, in kind of like a panic? Because we know 15 No, I, I was so super panicked because I was yeah. super hungover. So my brain was work, work, working very, very slowly. Uh, I, it, afterwards, I realized like, oh, I could have picked like Hobgoblin, or I could have picked that like, uh, like there's a lot of cards that are really good mm -hmm. actually. Now that you think a bit more about it, but no time, so I guess yeah, well, I just went with this. The truth is that you know everybody struggled with that, uh, from my understanding so far. So mm -hmm. I, I don't think you were alone. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so far, what we've seen is uh, the aggressive decks have kind of taken off. The more aggressive lineup has won so far quite decisively, and uh, you certainly had that. Uh, yeah, was that I mean, there's no, there's no, yeah, there's no board clear almost. Like Shaman has Lightning Storm, and uh, uh, I don't think if I don't know if there's any other class. Uh, not sure. Sheep. Explosive ship, yeah, sure. Uh, but I, that was my <laughs> mindset going into it. Like with little removal, then uh, aggro becomes stronger. So I guess triple aggro. Let's go. Triple aggro, let's go. That sums it up pretty well. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to have to play against uh, Saviz uh, here shortly. Uh, did you get to see him play? What, what do you think about the field? Are you, are you feeling good? Are you going to take this down with your hungover decks? Uh, I didn't get to see him play. I was listening a bit when I was in the kitchen making food. Uh, he threw out Trump. So I guess we have a 3-over versus a 3-over. So 
it's going to be some good games at least. All right. I'm not really afraid of Savits though. No. He has the better decks for sure. I think. Um, uh. I don't know. That's what I think. Okay. The Paladin. It was a good choice actually. I didn't. I never played Paladin, so that's why I didn't bring it. Mm-hmm. How was well, the food? It was pretty good. I was pretty hungry. I have only eaten like one sandwich today, so yeah, it was pretty good. Okay, well, uh, we're told the semifinals is next, so uh, I hope you're uh, you're pumped up and ready to uh, play against Savis. Yeah. Uh, no Paladin, uh, I don't think it's going to hurt you too much. Uh, I think Hunter is a pretty strong class, and I think you even proved it in that final game. Yeah, I think so. Uh, good luck to it. Thank you, man. All right, guys, uh, we'll be back in uh, just a moment while the players uh, and we set up uh, for uh, our first semifinal, first and only semifinal of the day. <laughs> 